Some of the features revealed by New Horizons defied simple explanation. One of the most baffling was a pair of vast mounds on the surface of Pluto, each topped by a deep depression. These mounds look just like young volcanoes, but how could that be possible on a planetary surface made mostly from ice? Scientists turn to similar looking features here on Earth. Planetary geologists like Janie Radabaugh call them shield volcanoes. This volcano we're headed for is called Skjaldbreiður, and it means broad shield in Icelandic. Well, in some ways, it's sort of the, uh, the eponymous shield volcano that we're about to land on. Shield volcanoes are formed by long, drawn-out eruptions of runny lava, and they're said to resemble the shape of a warrior shield lying on the ground. This one erupted just 9,000 years ago. You can see a giant crater right here, summit crater that's typical of shield volcanoes. And it's actually pretty deep right here, deeper than I expected. This is quite a young volcano, and so you can still really clearly see that crater. And actually, we see the summit crater on Pluto's shields very clearly. And that really kind of makes us really think they could be a shield volcano just because of a broad shape and a summit crater, just like this. It's not unusual to find shield volcanoes on other planets. Mars, like Earth, is mostly made from rock, and it's home to the monumental volcano Olympus Mons, built up from vast eruptions of hot, runny lava millions of years ago. But lava is melted rock, and that's a problem, because Pluto should be too small and too far from the sun to have anything melted. The kind of eruptions that make this shape of volcano are, you know, hundreds or thousands of, of individual eruptions over time. They, they erupt out of, of the fissure and flow out across the surface, and then they just pile up on top of each other and continue to flow out, building up a broad shield over time. The same thing has happened on Pluto. It's just the lava that's erupted from Pluto doesn't look anything like this. It does, it's not dark in color. It's not made of basalt. Instead, it's made of water ice. Unlike Earth, Pluto has a surface of frozen nitrogen on top of a bedrock and mantle of solid water ice. Some of this water ice must be melting to form explosive flows of liquid slush that spew out onto Pluto's surface, just like hot rocky lava does on Earth. The warm slush freezes rapidly on the surface, building up to form broad icy shields just like the rocky shields we find on Earth and Mars. 